Welcome back. Now, what can I really, really divulge to you? Gintama has started up once again. The threat of the planet is at stake. And the future of everyone that we know. Some of which are taking a stand, fighting up against those who have came in, really tried to take things by force. It's not really going to end well, is it? Maybe after everything we've seen, though, the Shogun might have learnt at least what it's like to be somewhat of a leader. After being installed as a puppet, is he going to cut his strings? Let's see. You know, starting off uh, straight away with the intro this time, instead of holding back on us. With the sense of... kind of like grungy defiance I'm getting from this song as well really goes along with what we're seeing did I say grungy? grungy <laughs> but with Certain bits and pieces in the town being targeted and then having those stand up like those of the Well, yeah, Cubay's family Of the undercity They really did pick some bad targets to try and extort money and stuff from didn't they? Why are they all having like a little cafeteria lunch party? He uh, says the important part with a mouthful of uh, like chicken katsu. Ah, uh, okay. How much is he putting on? I see everyone turning around to be... to pay attention to their conversation. Excuse me. What is Elizabeth eating to crunch that much? Can we get back to the topic at hand? <laughs> well, actually, no, I think the fact that they can uh, joke and argue like this. Wow, well, if is in absolute peril. Makes you believe that everything might be okay. Actually, no. Maple syrup. I was about to disparage it, but no. Hmm. Meat and like, some sweet on top of it. It always kind of works. You have to chew your food! I... no. I'm scarred. I see that they're being fed well. I mean, 
Sacramento's kitchen staff probably need to be paid overtime. I doubt heavily that it would stop everything. And with a strength of will, the humans of, of Earth and the samurai probably will stand up quite strongly. Show a bit of everything. Will they fight under his banner? Hmm. Still got a, a little bit of an attitude. But it'll be a bit difficult to for any of them to really trust or go along with him. At least he's yeah, not blind on the situation. Yeah, play the part that uh, he's been doing for so long. Okay, the Tabasco croquette, I'd, I'd quite like that. This is how the, uh, the common folk dig in. Are we just going to sit around and watching a mukbang of the Shogun? Also, is he going to now have to run out to the toilet halfway through the meeting? Really wasn't hard to see that one coming. <laughs> Apparently. God damn. He's going to ruin them from the inside out just by blocking all of their plumbing. Uh, everything's fine then. Fine then. Independence Day? I mean. To be fair, they seem like they're having the time of their life apart from the. apart from the stomach trauma. What better movie to about you know, fighting off invading aliens and whatnot than uh, Independence Day? I think a little hubris and bothered how he's talking now will come back to bite him but pull back get reinforcements and then you know why why bother just taking on taking on a an entire riot 
right, quell it from afar. Well, as long as we have him in the background. And what, are we going to... A joining of the four divas again? Although, not everyone is present. Huh? Oh no. If you really want to get them going... We've been taught you can't fight on an empty stomach. Yep. The supporting roles from the background are just as... irreplaceable. Yeah, you really got to record this moment. Getting the actual... Uh-oh. Well, almost getting the main populace on side, getting them fighting the fight as well. I haven't really seen that too much before. Being able to tell the bigger picture shows certain characters you know, stand aside from uh, make from others you really can tell strategy I see. Some people are not really taking safety uh No, I was born in this house, I'll die in it kind of thing. Also, yeah, the fact that this the town itself is a bit of a reputation. <laughs> taking refuge in a place like this. Got the shutters open again. We've seen them kind of gear up for battle before, but... They don't look like they're taking things too, too seriously now. And you dare come in and take their jobs, steal their prey, I guess. As one that has felt the full brunt of those when they stand up against authority. Mm -hmm. Too late! And, you know, it might help your deliberations if their seats are now stained. He 
He's become a is going to become a master deliberator and a diplomat. Thanks to his extra extra focus right now. But that doesn't mean accepting rule. Yes, fear. <laughs> Assert dominance, uh, you know, really spray the walls. Free under the rule of someone else. The, f the freedom to live your own life, wipe your own ass, as it's been put so eloquently. <laughs> that might be helpful, actually. It might be a, a good ad advertising for adult... Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, who's gonna... Yeah, who's gonna really fight against a face like that? Not fear of them. <laughs> it will be a bigger mess than they would bargain for. Have. How dare you threaten the shogun? <laughs> There's no matter of uh, no matter of clenching can really uh, hide back what he's got. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at him hunched over there. I feel like they're having four different conversations here, but only one of them really represents the true danger they're all in currently. <laughs> it will rain down upon, yeah, your grandchildren. Umkop. And the fact that they're keeping quiet about all of this, you know, sometimes the threat of your imagination is stronger than any reality. Please don't squat. Well, it was a few minutes ago. Maybe with this. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like they might have. Well, you got part of it, right? Who would have thought that having a conversation like this where it's... Wow. 
They're already down for the count. <laughs> they did attack him, you know, it's self defense. The captain goes down of the ship. <laughs> Who would have thought that a misunderstanding in negotiations would come to the protection of Earth through taking a dump? I think we really need to thank Kagura. I mean, if he tries his hardest, he'll he'll learn. <laughs> Please don't waddle away from the from the talk. <laughs> Why did toilet humor make me laugh? Someone's really having fun with that microphone, aren't they? <laughs> Look at him wimpo cry. Try to, you know, keep a straight face. Um, out of mutual respect for each other's resolution and uh, good name. So close. And just like that, one side of the, the battle was lessened. And apparently some very comfortable clothing. I'm still distraught of myself for laughing at that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Pretty much like this entire channel. You, uh, apparently fighting on an empty stomach would have been helpful in the situation, but maybe the diplomacy would have really suffered then. I think we actually have to give it to the Shogun there for holding out for as long as he did. But two episodes into this new season, this Silver Soul arc, and we've seen a disgrace of someone's dignity, a mutual destruction assured, that's why they will keep this silent, but also the slight protection of Earth, the Shogun actually doing some something. We've one enemy down. The Irvings can really focus on the true fight, not having to worry about kind of an extortion racket. Give up all of your valuables to help fight the war. We'll do it ourselves. 
there's no getting away from it, is there? This episode was a shit show, both metaphorically and literally. Having the Shogun actually stand up, you know, for the protection of... Well, Edo. Knowing that what he had done was... Well, in the steps of, to obtain power, he sacrificed everything. No one's willing to follow him, so why would they trust, trust him now and fight alongside him? And honestly, if you had told me even a few episodes ago, that you might have Nobunobu fighting alongside the others. Might be pretty difficult to believe. But also... Yeah, him killing countless untold numbers of people, overthrowing the previous Shogun that was so beloved. A bit of mayonnaise and Tabasco sauce. That's what we're going to get him back with. Well done, Kagura. You know, after talking about uh, watching Independence Day, watching Star Wars, well, fighting up against the aliens would be Independence Day, and the constant talk about politics, the Senate, uh, a lot of diplomacy and the like, yeah, there might be Star Wars. Just with a lot less beam sabers. I think we all really do know, though, that um, over everything, the most terrifying ones you can come up against in a matter like this would be with the those with the most to lose. Sakamoto and Katsuda are like, no, you're staying here until it's done. No bathroom breaks. No nothing. But with the fight now thoroughly being taken to them, with Earth being very mutually, very respectfully, being left alone by one of the sides, does give the remaining samurai a lot more backing in the fight. If I should take down one side without any bloodshed. With almost no bloodshed. The children may need to see a doctor. But once again... Gintama living up to everything is set up in the past. I come into this thinking... We begin the dark and gritty Gintama about the world being what it is now. And I leave it thinking... Well, the underwear, underwear salesmen in this world are doing well. But if you know you're squeaky clean and want to see more Gintama, make sure to come back for more. So if you enjoyed this one, leave a like and a comment on the video. Consider subscribing. Tell me exactly what kind of foods we should avoid to not have a reoccurrence of this kind of situation. I guess I'll see you in the next one.